Hey guys, Gary Ruplinger with GPSMaestro.com here, and today I'm going to show you exactly how you can finally get a speedometer in Google Maps Navigation Beta. Now at first I thought this was just some oversight uh, way back when I first started using uh, Google Maps Navigation back in 2009. It's three years later, they still don't have it, so I figure it's probably not coming for one reason or another. Now let me show you the app that we're going to be using today to get a speedometer in this uh, in our application and it's going to look like it belongs there. We're going to use this app called Ulysses Speedometer Pro. Now I've opened it up and now you can see that the screen is finally the way it looks. I know it was sideways before but I can't uh, change uh, aspect ratios in the middle of a video unfortunately. So anyway what we're going to do here now that we've got this open we're going to click on settings or excuse me we're going to click the menu button click preferences now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll down to this background work settings and you're going to want to make sure that there's a green checkbox next to work and background right here. Now once that's done we click speed overlay notifications. We want to make sure show current speed up here is checked. All right, This is going to work if you are using the free version. Now I'm using the pro version which costs $2.25 and as far as I'm concerned it's worth every penny because I'm going to show you something really cool down below. The speed overlay. Now we want to make sure show speed overlay is checked. Now if you're using the free version they will give you this functionality for a limited time for free but then you got to upgrade uh, to the pro version. Like I said it's $2.25 I think it's worth every penny. It's really great. Now once that's checked we're going to click show speed overlay mode we want it to show only for selected applications. Otherwise it would show in everything that we're doing and we don't need speed uh, pr pretty much anything except navigation, right? Now let's go to applications list and click on maps. Now we're going to see a tap for setup right over here. You can take this little thing, you click on it, and then you can move it to the place. So I can position this anywhere I want. Now where I had it, and I'm just going to skip this for now, I can tap for setup. I put it where I want and then I'm done. Now let's go and I'm going to show you in the next portion of the video how this works in action. Don't worry this is set up for navigation even though it only looks like it's in maps right now. Don't worry. And now I've got the application and uh, navigation and everything open. Uh, the application should open up automatically uh, when you pull up navigation, especially if you're using the pro version. But you can see now the speedometer is there. I'm driving along and I can still see it with my navigation and it's not covering up anything important and it is slightly transparent so that you can even see what's been behind it. So there you have it. That's how you get a speedometer into Google Maps navigation beta. And uh, you can do it for either $2.25 and have the big one at the bottom, kind of like I have now. Or if you look at the top, very top left of my screen, you can see there's a little speedometer there in the status bar. And if you use the free version, that's the one you'll be getting. But either way, you've got a speedometer to use. So thanks for watching today, guys. We'll see you for more tutorials at gpsmaestro.com. And we'll see you next time.